hoping to try out this truth serum. But the High Elf spilled everything without a fuss. Is this how you treat esteemed scholars on the mainland? I am Teldundindo of Sunhold. The Teldundindo... Who are you? Finally! Someone besides these painted eyes. They threatened to break my left thumb if I didn't tell them what they wanted. That's my writing thumb. How did this ruin suddenly become common knowledge? It took me, Teldundindo of Sunhold, years to even learn about its existence. Fine. What do you need? Beneath Border Watch's crypt, I believe. Specifically, beneath the tomb of the Keep's architect. Though I don't know which tomb is hers. Forgive me, but I told all of this to the Painted Eye. I had no choice. There was one thing I never volunteered to the Painted Eye, and they didn't know to ask. The crypt is locked tight. I instructed Commander Axius to lock it up so no one would disturb the location while I conducted my research. <laughs> Not that it matters now. Captain Axius put the key in his office, but who knows if the Painted Eye ransacked it yet. I'd hurry. I hope you appreciate the renowned Teldundindo giving you the honor of being the first to enter that ruin. It's only been the work of decades. Why wouldn't he? I am Teldundindo of Sunhold. When I say there is a discovery that will put a backwater like this on the map, the wise man listens. Thankfully, Commander Axius is smarter than his occupation would indicate. It's an appellation of necessity. Teldundindo was a popular name in the Somerset Isles for my generation. There were five other Teldundindos in my class at the College of Sapiox alone. I can't have my work confused for any lesser Teldundindos. Right. Friend, you get the key. I'll keep tabs on the painted eye. Aerithal will lead the scholar to safety. And after that, she won't come back. Right? Understood. Lesson learned. All right, Mr. Scholar. The way to freedom is just a quick romp through the castle sewers. Sewer? I'm a distinguished fellow of the College of Sapiox. Do you expect me to muck about in filth? Oh, it'll be fine. You won't even smell it after a few minutes. Unless you're planning to keep those robes, because, whew, that is not going to wash out.
Over here. The Painted Eye are already inside. We need to keep after them. Hopefully, these bastards are as dumb as they look. Yeah. On the roof. Yeah. how big is this crypt? statues. I wager there's some kind of complicated puzzle involving a hidden passage. <laughs> I must already be inside. Continue the ritual. I've nearly gained control. I hear them. Up ahead. Let's get going. Come and fight! We've got to stop whatever it is they're doing. Quickly! No! I almost have it! Stop them! Seems we've struck a nerve. Let's keep it. Don't let this power escape me! I won't! I don't see that loony coming to stop us. Keep going. to find out. All the things. Fools! Nothing can disrupt this ritual while I possess the power of. Place is coming down. Errol, I know. I said I wouldn't come back, but I heard yelling echoing up from a grate, and I was worried, so I followed, and it was slippery, and... Thank you. If it weren't for you, we couldn't have stopped the Painted Eye. You mean it? It was a pretty dramatic entrance, wasn't it? Maybe I should practice. Don't push it. Can you believe it? We saved Border Watch! People here will be telling tales of our skullduggery and daring do for... for at least a week. This might really be the birth of Lady Twilight's legend. 
That's the big climax. I mean, I'd discourage any unflattering references to falling on my ass, but you can't pay for a debut like that. Well, I was helping the great Teldon Dindo tiptoe through the sewer when we come across this huge rat. That ninny started shrieking at a pitch so high, the rat must have thought it was a mating call, because it went tearing off after him. Sort of. So the rat had him cornered, but I killed it. Took some doing, like I said, big rat. After the commotion was over, I heard yelling coming up from a grate nearby. That spooked Teldun Dindo again. He ran off, so I decided to follow the voices. Well, that led to an aqueduct, which led to an eyeless slaughterfish nesting pool, which led to me running, slipping, and falling down to you. I don't know what you and Seeks were doing down there, but I'm sure it was important too. Now that this Border Watch gig is all settled, Seeks and I need to get back to the guild before someone else snags an even bigger job. The legend of Lady Twilight won't be born from resting on my laurels. Of course! I'm not going to become the greatest thief in all of Tamriel by sitting on my duff, will I? I mean, you saw what it did back there. That's an arse of action. Be a waste of great potential. I've had jobs go better. <sighs> much, much, much better. But all things considered, this could have gone a lot worse for us. You mean the one Aerothal turned into a couch cushion? I don't expect the buyer is going to pay us for her sculpture of the two moons. The job's a wash. Yeah, yeah, I guess we did. I don't think we're going to stick around to collect, though. Commander Axius is going to have a lot of questions, and I don't want to give him an excuse to keep us here. Better Aerithel and I just get back to the guild. Now I need to figure out how to tell the guild that we didn't get the relic. They won't be happy. What do you mean? I have the relic right here. Oh, careful. Still got bits of painted eye lady on it. What? When did you? When you were all, oh, look at the ceiling. It's coming down around us. This is why I should take the lead next time. Absolutely not. Now that this Border Watch gig is all...
I've got a camp full of liberated hostages, and my scouts tell me there's a significant drop in painted eye activity within the fortress. But I want to hear it from someone who's seen things firsthand. What's the situation in Border Watch? Damn fine work! I'll get my troops together and we'll mop up the stragglers. So much for those experts. You did the work of both of them, and most of us for that matter. Border Watch is in your debt. This is all the payment I could muster. If there's a chance we can repay what you've done for us, my garrison is at your disposal. You have my word. I gathered that much from debriefing the hostages. The painted eye was after something in that ruin. The one that High Elf Scholar was badgering me about. All the years I've commanded this fort, and I had no idea what was under my feet. Make our preparations to mop up the dregs of the Painted Eye, and resume possession of Border Watch. Storming a fort is never easy, even if you know the layout like we do. After that, well, I expect I'll be asked to resign my commission. Because no one has use for a fort commander that loses his own bloody fortress. Well, at least we've gotten the people out safely. That's enough for me. I'll get their home back and... Then I'll lay the sword down. You there. The Ivory Brigade has need of you. You look like you've got your wits about you. Care to make a bit of extra gold working for Leowin's Ivory Brigade? I've been asked by my captain to find someone who can handle themselves. We need help with a delicate situation. Deadly secrets. Assassins. Murder. Now apparently a counselor has gone missing. Between the war, bandits, and cultists, the Ivory Brigade is like the Nord that tries to plug a leaking cask of mead, only to realize he doesn't have enough fingers. Talk to my commander, Captain Rian Lior. You can find him just outside the city gates, trying to appease some of the nobles. Tell him I sent you, and he'll put you right to work, I'm sure. Footsteps. Stay calm. Chadi is here. It's fine. Uh, hello, stranger. Please don't feel obligated to speak to me. You look like someone with more important places to be. 
No, it's not you. It's the witch's festival. This time of year always puts me on edge. Well, yes. Let me be honest. I'm afraid of crowds. It's always difficult for me. But it's unbearable around the time of the festival. So many people. So many masks. So I come out here to wait it out. Chuddy here is a calming influence on me. It's... it's... him. You know... him. He... he appears to me. Do you understand? I'm not crazy! So many people think I am. So many people... too many people! It happens when there are people around. One of them approaches and wh whispers unspeakable things to me. And I know it's... him. No one sees. No one helps. He tells me they're all in on it. He tells me everyone will hurt me if he tells them to. And I see him in his true form. His teeth are long like fingers. His fingers are sharp like teeth. His breath smells like rot and death. Whatever you do, don't let him talk to you. Once you do, he'll come back. Now please go. A and be careful. The Three Banners War is fierce. Taking a break makes you appreciate the war more when you head back in. Speaking of breaks, I've got some beds for rent right here. You'll find Argonians
Given a choice, fire drakes are my team. Because I did have a choice, here I am. Though I didn't expect to end up so close to the Three Banners Wall. look like a hardy soul, unconcerned with the prospect of death by trick, trap, or misadventure. How do you feel about helping a defenseless scholar from Gideon unearth a little history from Undertow Cavern? Oh, and can you swim? Have you heard of Phalevon the Magnificent? He was a famous Nibbanese Minotaur hunter, but his final resting place was lost to time. After years of searching, I think I finally found the site of Phalevon's mausoleum. I hope to recover proof that this is Phalevon's tomb. His armor, helm, and sword would do nicely. But I didn't get far before I found the cavern overrun with goblins and minotaurs, and parts of it are flooded. I'll pay you well to help me. No one in Leowin realizes that Undertow Cavern is the final resting place of a great hero. Let me secure my belongings and I'll meet you inside. Time to grab the bull by the horns and wade right in! <laughs> I found accounts of Phalevon's burial in a shining mausoleum on a hill outside Leowin. He was laid to rest with his arms and armor, relics of his many victories. This is the place, but goblins infest the caverns, and minotaurs too. I suppose goblins aren't much of a surprise. They infest many caves in this region, although I had hoped I wouldn't run into any. The minotaurs I didn't expect. None have been seen so close to Leowin in centuries. That's the very question I was wondering about. Wherever they came from, these minotaurs seem very hostile. Enraged, even. I've heard all kinds of fighting inside. I think they're angry at the goblins. Do minotaurs and goblins get along? That's because it was swallowed by the earth. One night, 700 years ago, People living nearby heard a terrible sound. When they came to look in the morning, they found that the whole mausoleum had fallen into the caves underneath the hill. Because the caves beneath this hill were the site of Phalevon's last and greatest battle, the mausoleum was a monument to his victory, as well as his tomb. Until Undertow Cavern swallowed it up anyway. You would be, I suppose. Well... Phalevon the Magnificent had a golden helm. He wore armor of impervious mail, and he wielded a sword of exceptional sharpness. The stories say that Phalevon had the most beautiful mail, impervious to sword, arrow, and spear. We don't know much about armor of his era, but he was known as the Magnificent. I can only surmise his armor was quite splendid. Phalevon's sword was so sharp, it was said to be able to cut the air itself. No, that isn't right. I suppose any sword will cut air. Ah, that's it. This one could cut through armor-like air. That's what I was told. As I understand it, the helm was a gift from the Lord of Leowin in gratitude for Phalevon's many heroic deeds in Blackwood. The stories say it was fashioned in the shape of a roaring dragon's face. Well, it has been many hundreds of years. I suppose Phalevon's arms and armor might not be much to look at now. But in any condition, they would be of immense historical value. I simply know it. 